meatball garlic bread stuffed sliders is what's on the menu for today let's go with the ingredients I have my ground beef of course I'll be using these Hawaiian rolls to stuff it with some onions garlic parsley cheese eggs and marinara sauce to get started I have some avocado oil heating up I'm gonna add in my onions and I'm gonna saute this down for about seven minutes and then I'll add in my garlic Okay, now we have that done. I'm gonna add in the garlic. Make sure your heat is on low. You don't want to burn this garlic. It'll add a bitter, bitter taste. Get the garlic mixed in. And we're only gonna cook this another two to three minutes. It smells so good in here, you guys. Okay, now we can start working on seasoning up our ground beef. I have my onions and garlic that I'm going to add in that I had sauteed on the stove. So get that mixed in. And I'm going to add in some parsley. I have two eggs because of the amount of ground beef that I'm using. So just adjust yours accordingly to your amount of beef that you're using. Okay, now this is my Italian seasoning that I'm adding in. Gonna add in some Tony's. Y'all season to your own taste and according to how much you know ground beef you have. Adding in some black pepper. I'm gonna use this Emerald's Bam Burger seasoning to help season this up some. Half a cup of mozzarella cheese. A little Himalayan salt. And now I'm gonna add in some Worcestershire sauce. Y'all know how to say that word. <laughs> I mess it up every time. So now that we have everything in, just wanna go in and give it a good mix. Make sure you get everything incorporated. Don't want to over mix it. It makes your beef tough. Now that cheese is optional. And you just want to, if you are adding cheese, just use whatever kind of cheese you prefer. I have my sheet line with a little foil. Now I'm going to form some balls. I want to keep them about this size because we're going to stuff it down inside of our roll. So you don't want to make them too big. So about like that. Balls rolled up. I had to make a few taste test balls for when they get ready. So that's why you guys see the, all the extra balls. So we're just gonna place in the oven till they're about done. Now we can get started on our garlic butter. I have some butter melting down. When it gets nice and foamy like that, I'm gonna add in my garlic. I'm gonna give that a good mix. And then what I'm gonna do is just turn my heat off because the residual heat will go ahead and infuse, the garlic will infuse into the oil. So go ahead and turn your heat off at this point. I used about four tablespoons of butter and about four garlic cloves. I have my sheet pan here. I had a little oil that I sprayed on it. You just wanna place your buns down. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in and we're gonna just carve out a circular hole. You wanna go down about two thirds of the way. Don't go all the way down, just two thirds. Then just pull off that inside. Say that for breadcrumbs. You don't wanna go all the way down because we're gonna put marinara sauce down inside of the hole. So just a circular motion around and then pull out the center part of the bread. And I'll finish the rest of them up off camera. about the same size as the meatballs that you rolled up. I use these Hawaiian butter rolls, but you can use whatever rolls you prefer. 
I just wanted to come on and show you guys how it looks on the inside. So you want about similar to that. Once you cut the holes in your rolls, you want to take that butter and garlic mixture and spread it inside the hole and all around on top. So you want to go on the inside and across the top. And we'll just continue to do this to the rest of it. Want to get that bread nice and soaked up with all that goodness. All that garlic and that butter. I asked for my marinara sauce. I've got mine from the store. You can make your own if that's what you prefer. I'm gonna add a spoon of this chili garlic sauce. It is spicy. That is optional also. So you can choose to use it or not. I just want to add a little heat to mine. I'm gonna get that a good mix. Now all you wanna do now is go in with your marinara sauce. Just about a tablespoon and place it down inside of the holes. My bread and meatballs are out of the oven. I let my rolls cook for about five minutes and my meatballs cooked for about 12 minutes. And now what you wanna do is, you wanna take a meatball and place it right down inside of that hole. So just place it right down. Might have to give it a little wiggle, but that's fine. Once you have the meatballs inside of your hole, just like that, you want to take the remaining amount of your marinara and place some across the top. Now you don't want to put too much because you don't want these too messy because you want them to pull apart and stay intact. So just a little bit, about a tablespoon, just enough to cover that meatball. Now once you have the marinara sauce on top, you wanna just go in and put a little cheese right on top of it. And then we're gonna place this in the oven. And you just wanna put this in until the cheese is nice and melted. And my oven is set at 400 degrees. Juve. Guys, I have it out of the oven. I let it stay in about 12 minutes. I just went ahead and sprinkled a little parsley on top. How good does that look? Look at that. This is great for any occasion. And if you want it to, you can always leave a little marinara on the side and dip yours in. Look at that, y'all. I hope you guys try this recipe. They're great for any event. Super Bowl is coming up, you guys. I hope y'all go ahead and like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I create another amazing recipe. Y'all know the vibe. Be blessed.